So in our previous videos, we've been looking at the four P's, price, promotion, place, product. And so there's an interesting uh, article from Inc. Magazine, and you can see the link at the bottom here, and it talks about are the four P's of marketing outdated? So we talk in management about the four P's as we manage um, our products, our customer relations. And of course, in marketing, every intro marketing course talks about the four P's. So the question becomes, are the four P's out of date? Well, this Inc. Magazine article talks about how when we focus on the four P's, we are putting too much effort, too much focus on technology and quality. And we're not emphasizing the importance of building that customer relationship and the value added uh, to the customer. We also find that the products of today really aren't as the same as the products of tomorrow. So we have, for example, knowledge intensive firms. These companies don't sell a particular good. What they do is they sell information. So you hire them to help you come up with innovative ideas and solutions to problems. We also have a number of companies that don't sell directly to the customer, but sell to other businesses. And so when we think about the four P's in terms of price, product, placement, and promotion, it really is focused on the end user customer, right? We're selling an Xbox. What price are we selling it for? What features does the Xbox have? Where can our customer go to get the Xbox? What store are they going to to get it? Um, and what kind of advertisements are we doing to let people know that there's an Xbox, a new Xbox out there. So Inc. Magazine argues that instead of the four P's, we should actually be using what they call solve. Sorry, save, <laughs> save. So what do they mean by that? Well, instead of using product, which really focuses on making a particular good, use the word solution. So instead of making something, it's about solving problems for the customers, providing something they don't have, helping them in terms of value added. So offering something that meets their needs, solving, finding solutions to whatever challenges they have. And instead of place, it's about access. More and more companies don't have a physical presence. Um, they don't have a brick and mortar retail location. So it's really about giving the customer access to the goods or the services wherever they are. So here we're looking at those distribution channels that we had talked about uh, in a previous video. We think about companies like Amazon in terms of getting it delivered to your door. We think about grocery stores that are now doing delivery and you have the option to simply pick up your groceries by parking in a parking stall outside the building. It's all about access not so much about placement in terms of where the good is inside a business and, in, and at what business. Instead of price, Inc. Magazine is focused on value. So rather than selling based on a price, we want to show to the customer the value added. The problem with price is that lots of businesses don't have a lot of control over costs. And we're making this video, it's at a time where we're seeing inflation, annual inflation around 9%, right? Costs have really gone up. Uh, some of our food prices have gone up like 20%. So if we're selling, it's hard to argue, you know, here's the price, here's our selling feature is the price that we're offering when we really can't control that because the costs are going up because of inflation. And so really it's more about promoting the value what they're getting, the bang for their buck. Yes, you have to pay more, but you're getting better quality. You're getting better features. Uh, you're getting it, you're getting more value than the competitor is offering. So instead of one of the four P's being price, uh, Inc. Magazine is talking about using save, solution, access, value, replacing price. And then instead of promotion, focus on education. So as we move away from traditional advertising of newspaper ads, TV ads, and we're starting to see more in terms of social media, in terms of internet, things that can be tailored to individuals, you know, really start to look at what is the purpose in terms of promoting. 
And nobody wants to be the snake oil salesman. Uh, and we more and more want information about how particular goods and services will meet our needs, how do we use them, what's available out there. And so here the focus instead of on promotion is on education. So what is it that we can help the consumers understand in terms of what our product is, what it does, how it is a solution to the challenges they face. So it's interesting, um, and I encourage you to check out this Inc. Magazine article to look at, um, have we reached the end of the four Ps? And should we instead be looking at save, at solution, access, value, and education?